art fight, a term my fellow chronically online artistic friends may be acquainted with. Or maybe even a little bit with. Ew. Anyway. Cheers, Lars, throbbing on their November But for those freshly born lambs to the proverbial artistic slaughter, I'll give you a rundown. Art Fight is an event that happens every July where there are two teams and you pick a team and then you make art for the other team and this art's normally of their, you know, OCs, their characters, and you just have a fun old community building time as you make art for strangers and just... Yippee, you know? It's just a fun event where artists come together to support each other. So what went wrong? I'm Saba Black Sheep, have you any soul? No sir, no sir. But I do have time today to yap about another online issue that no one cares about. And honestly isn't even an issue. I just like yapping. <laughs> As internet spaces become far more common to a larger audience, even niche little nooks of communities start going through growing pains. Younger artists are joining the online art community by the thousands. Mostly due to platforms like TikTok and... Uh, TikTok? <laughs> Maybe, maybe YouTube shorts. <laughs> I mean, it's all too common for kids to, you know, find common interest among each other, you know, anime, comics, games, gotcha. Heat. <laughs> Shout out to the time I sat down with my friend Yoon for like two straight hours watching a gotcha alpha sigma omega heat movie on youtube it was pretty it was pretty pg-13 it was pretty pg-13 but but it was but it was in the omega verse that's um alpha male talk for gay people it isn't a bad thing that we have a bunch of kids just joining the art community and making their art it's absolutely so fun to see how talented some of these young artists are I'm 20, I'm not that old, I promise! But, of course, it comes with a lot of drama because kids are really dramatic. Man, I remember when I was like, middle school, I was just an asshole. Anyway, how many of you guys have passed by just a video scrolling through your social media of choice, probably TikTok, and there's just some kid getting mad that, that they're in art fight and they're not getting enough replies or they're not being responded to the way they want to when they attack people or the person they attacked like didn't respond within the day or whatever and look i get it i get it it's discouraging when you're not getting feedback from the people you're doing art for but like people are busy people got shit to do and i i don't know how it comes across seems like a little bit entitled just a little bit because it's like you know it might not have to do about your art just that like it's an old website it's hard to always know when someone's commenting on something and also like a lot of people are adults and have adult responsibilities but anyways the perspective is to be expected from uh, a bunch of kids because I, I think a lot of teenagers are into this stuff now, which is good, which is good. I was one of those teenagers into that stuff. So, but like, anyways, I, I just, we shouldn't bully children. Like we should be understanding of their perspective being, you know, maybe not as wide as people that are a little older. We are gonna make fun of some entitled kids. <laughs> well, he went this way and then he went that way. And then he went this way and then I go this way. And then I go that way. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. The whitewashing. Look, okay, I get it. I, I get that whitewashing a lot of times is an accident. From beginner and young artist. Beginner and young artist. Make sure. Because it's hard to always tell the values and always have like, you know, the artistic eye. You get it? But like, clearly everything else in the piece was drop tooled. Why wasn't the skin drop tooled? Why wasn't her skin drop tooled? That bitch whiter than me, and I'm as white as they come. Like, clearly this person did it on purpose. Mind you, the OP that posted this video is 
not the person that made the the whitewashed art just so you know don't send hate don't send hate to anyone I make a video about. I don't care. I don't care. Don't go to their page and go, I don't care who I am talking about. Oh my God, sit your ass down. It's not that serious. Well, racism is very serious, but who am I? Who am I to, to tell people what to do on that front? My best guess is that whoever made this piece was rage baiting because the younger generation fucking loves rage baiting. Like, June Alpha has the... I don't know if I should say hard on because they're all kids and I was like, oh, they have a hard on for rage baiting because like, get it? It's like really liking rage bait, but is that a normal joke? Anyways, they really like rage baiting because rage baiting is, I mean, it's not fun. I'll be frank. I don't know why it's so popular. Like, I think it's just the kids like a lot of like uh, people that are really into rage bait tend to be like 14 or something and i think we all when we were all 14 were kind of into rage baiting so I have zero issue with OP and what they're saying. That uh, zero, none. They're good. They're good. They're perfectly okay. They're just pointing out how, like, honestly, every art fight goes every year. But I have noticed there is some elitism in art fight that sometimes gets framed in a similar way of like, oh, I'm so on the grind set mindset, you know, and you made two pieces. Now you're done loser but uh, art fight is exhausting making that much art for people can be so tiring especially people with like families and jobs and shit it isn't easy and i've seen people get upset where they're like they're not getting enough attacks they're not getting enough replies in a certain time frame which i know can feel discouraging and that's completely valid to feel but it's important to remember a lot of people have like I said, kids, jobs, families, bills, uh, rent, like, they're in general just dreadful adult responsibilities. Like, we aren't just a bunch of, like, little kitties in our rent-free rooms drawing after school all day with nothing to worry about but, you know, grades and if Tyler B and Tyler C are gonna figure out you've been writing erotic fan fiction about them and posting it on DeviantArt. I feel like most of the, like, large art community from 2015 to 2019 where I kind of grew up when that, that community online has just all grown up now and we're still a part of the community but it's just like, just where's the time? Where's the time? Like, shout out if you remember, like, Solar Sands and, like, Spockter and shit. I remember them being so mean to young artists, though. Like, why were they so mean? <laughs> Honestly, it's really hard to find the inspiration and, like, time to draw when you're woke, wor when, <laughs> when you're working. Like, the last thing I'm worried about is if I put enough exclamation marks so little Jimmy knows I liked his piece enough. Like, not saying it isn't important to support and be thankful for the art you're given. Please, 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 please. Be understanding and be thankful and support young artists. If you have the energy. So I've noticed with Art Fight that with for a lot of beginner artists, they have received little to no attacks from other people because, for some reason, people forgot what Art Fight is about and are only attacking popular artists for quote-unquote good artists and expecting attacks out of them instead of, you know, just giving art to people because it's fun. So, I want to do something to help artists who have not received any attacks. So, if you are starting out Art Fight and you have gotten like zero to maybe just one attack, I want you to drop your link to your profile in the comments or DM them to me so that way more people can see you and I want to help out because this is just sucky and nobody deserves this, especially during this fun event. Like, no. We love small artists. No matter the talent, you guys deserve so much love, especially during this small, this fun thing. So I want to help out. message for the most part but genuinely some people just don't have the time 
I'll be frank. It's hard to find the time to do a lot of attacks, and I think it's perfectly normal for someone to only want to do a few attacks against artists they really are inspired by and like. And there's no shame in that, and there really, really shouldn't be. Like, yes, we should draw, like, uh, there, there should be people drawing the beginner, like, more beginner artists work because it's important to support each other, but honestly, it isn't anyone's singular responsibility, and I think we really shouldn't make it seem that way. I just don't get the putting the responsibility on strangers. Like, like, I'm a stranger to almost all of you. I'm not responsible for drawing your character just because it would make you feel good. Like, and that goes vice versa. You're not responsible for drawing my characters just because it's going to make me feel good. And I I have done a lot of art trades with beginner artists and people that even, like, only picked up a pin a month prior. Like, I, I love supporting being there for beginner artists because I was a beginner artist at one point, too, and in many aspects, I still am. But I don't have the time. I don't have the time or energy to be doing that. And the main thing I worry about is like TikTok taking stuff like this and turning it into like a big moral statement. These big sweeping morality issues that honestly don't need to be that big of a deal. Your feelings will always be valid, but your actions aren't. I have, you know, done things for people and made art for people and they didn't really say much. Did it hurt my feelings a little? Yeah, a little, but at the end of the day, I don't know. I went to bed, got up and did other stuff. Like honestly, just because someone makes you feel bad doesn't mean that person is bad. It just means you feel bad. <laughs> like, I have art trades that aren't even finished by people that, I mean, they should finish them, but they never will because I think they completely forgot. And yeah, is it a little annoying that I made a complete art piece and like comic for them? Yeah, and they didn't return and they also didn't draw what I asked them to. <laughs> that happened like three years ago and it's still not done it but like as a person they're a fine individual and i will never hate on them they just are bad at getting shit done in that term and it's annoying and it's a it's a bad trait but they're a complete person that is pretty good outside of that a really compassionate good person outside of that so like that's what i'm saying is that you can't make entire statements sweeping like entire statements about people's characters not saying OP did that. OP, I, like, I, I support OP. OP makes a point. I'm talking about just general now. I see a lot of people in the art community putting a lot of pressure on artists just because their art is good and they have a decent following. And I don't think that's really fair because it's like, just because you draw good doesn't mean you owe anyone anything. Like, like it isn't the responsibility of a bunch of strangers posting their art to, I don't know, like, be there for a bunch of strangers. Like, I think it's good when people are, but I just think it shouldn't be a requirement. Here is some of my art, just so you know where, like, my opinion is coming from. I mean, it's decent. It, it's good enough for me to be considered an advanced self-taught artist online, mind you, online. I'm sure any actual art institution or school would look at my art and spit on it, so it's neither here nor there. But like, when I was 16, I had some person like block me and call me evil because my art got featured too often on like the front page of Amino or whatever. I've had many moments of sending my art to like art discords and then no one would do anything but cr critique the piece. And then like a more beginner artist would post like a cutesy, more simplistic drawing and everyone would be like, oh my God, that's so cute. Oh my God, that's perfect. Oh my God, you're amazing. Best artist in the world, blah, 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 blah. Which, not saying, no, not saying I deserve praise. I get plenty. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't. And I think it's really important for like beginner artists to have those spaces where they are very highly praised because their work genuinely is so amazing. And it's so cool how quickly beginner artists are learning nowadays. Like it's amazing but the resentment against like sometimes like more advanced artists in like younger spaces is like so weird it's so weird like people get mad at like a 13 year old for drawing a good piece like bro chill chills not that deep like i'm sure a lot of you that have been drawing for a while and your work is pretty good 
have had that moment where you've made something that you're not particularly proud of and you see issues with and you and you say it you send it you send your art and you say oh i don't really like how this thing looks i don't know it's like kind of meh and then someone just starts screaming you're fishing for compliments you're fishing for compliments what can you not see that incredibly fucked up arm in terms of perspective? Like, what are we talking about? It can be hurtful to be talked to like that when that was not your intention. And I don't understand the whole like, girl, you're fishing for compliments. Because honestly, no one fishes for compliments if they're not insecure. And what's wrong with complimenting someone who's not feeling confident in their work? Takes all of five seconds saying, oh my god, your work's amazing. I don't understand the hate towards people that are like, Oh, my art isn't really that good. No, girl, it's amazing. Don't worry about it. Like, in, like, putting, passing judgment on those people because they're insecure. Like, what is wrong with you? Needing words of affirmation is completely normal in a lot of people's love language, inc including mine. Like, complimenting people's not gonna kill you. Like, chill i got off topic anyway if you're enjoying my content consider joining my discord server and if you enjoy my art check out my etsy with adult coloring sheets shirt designs and wall art all linked in description back to the video bro ain't no way i just found an ai art user on art fight this is the oc right and this is the quote unquote art i shouldn't even have to explain myself on how this is ai but i'll just tell you anyway look here they clearly took the original image and just put it through an AI generator. And this isn't even the only person they did this to. Here's another example of them just taking the character and putting it through a generator. Do I even have to explain with this one? What the hell is wrong with your hand? This is their user, please go report them. And the worst part is that they actually have a handful of defenses, but they clearly didn't earn them. It's like they're just getting free fan art. Gross. Okay, so the only issue I have with this video is the lack of analysis and, like, evidence. Looking at the photo, the style is, yes, one of the main styles used in one of the most popular anime AI art generators. I definitely see how it is probably AI art. But, you know, the art also lacks many of the telltale signs of AI art. Like, its hands and feet look relatively normal. Even though they pointed out the hand, honestly, the hand looks fine. It looks normal. Like, like it looks a little wonky, but everyone's art has little wonky parts of it. Like, like it's not that weird to have, like, a weird part i mean the the line between like this like you see the line where my pinky and my back the this thing meets that was a little too thin that's it now i do think this is ai art so i do agree with op but i i fear normalizing framing calling out ai art in this way with no proper analysis the whole i don't need to explain it you should go report it and that is where I'm saying it's going to end up normalizing just calling people out without evidence and being like, and it's just going to lead through harassment. It's just going to end up creating a culture where, where, where taking someone's word of on it, fa like just face value and going to harass someone over it and take down their platform without anything else. AI art is built off of real artists work so naturally there are going to be real artists that kind of look like the ai art that's just the reality of it and i just think for our community moving forward we need to be very careful how we frame and talk about ai art and calling it out instead of saying i don't need to explain it just go report them this is ai art i highly suggest saying this looks like ai art to me this is all the reasons why i think this is ai art what do you think and if you think it's also ai art please report it because we don't want this in our space that's all i just i just think it's the best way to go about that because i i am terrified for artists to get their work called out and harassed just because it looks to a similar style that some AI art is made. And it already has happened to a lot of people. And having the entire art community on your ass, like ripping you a new asshole and sending you death threats, and you're gonna be like, I didn't send him death threats. It wasn't you. It was someone, but it wasn't you. Not talking to OP, by the way. I'm talking to a general royal you. I just think we have high emotions because AI art is awful. I hate it too. But anyway, that's my opinion. That's just my opinion. I am not the end all be all. Think whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to briefly touch on her, uh, because- You wanna touch on her?
Twitter is the kingpin of can't take a joke. The most judgmental people I've ever seen build their little troll caves on Twitter. Far left, far right, far up or down. The dumbassery comes in every breed on that damn site. So the point of this post most likely is talking about the human centipede incident. So there's these things called mass attacks. And so a mass attack is pretty much when someone draws a bunch of characters in one drawing. And so I made a joke that they were going to make a mass attack of a human centipede. God, this is so funny. Um, a human centipede is pretty much where you sew someone mouth to butt to make a singular digestive system. And clearly the person that, that made this joke was joking. They had no plan to actually draw this. Personally, I, th I thought it was a hilarious. It got a good hearty giggle out of me when I first saw it. But guess what Twitter did? Well, Twitter did what it does best. Take a non-serious issue and turn it into a life or death moral issue. Thanks, Twitter. Anyways, yeah, I mean, some kids thought it would be funny to actually draw it, um, which it's not. It's pretty weird to draw people's characters in that way without their consent. But it's honestly that that those drawings aren't even allowed on the Art Fight website, so it's relatively means little well anyways our fight is now over since it is july no wait sorry august 1st it is august 1st now another fun year of drawing for each other eh I've never actually joined Art Fight. I didn't join this year, and I haven't ever joined before, and I probably won't join next year either. I just like yapping about shit. I'm making y'all listen. You like it, right? Well, I got nothing else. That's all we got for today, folks. You got work tomorrow or school. We're talking about an event you watch from the back row. But as always, don't dream about wheat-based byproducts.